Right. Just slap this on there. Then high five it. A really, a really big hand. Oh, Whoops. Come on. Uh, uh, well, I can't leave yet, so I guess I'll just sit here and stare at you. Uh, <laughs> and just sprint over this. No, you've. Well, oh, yeah, I guess you can. Never mind. It's easy. This doesn't actually. want me going there. Or... Yeah. It's just the death room. Get out of my head. <laughs> Get out of my head. <laughs> Oh, don't give me options. <laughs> In the things betwixt. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you better go boil some Mountain Dew. This is going to take a while. <laughs> boil some Mountain Dew. That's from Simpsons. You don't know that? You gotta watch more <laughs> Simpsons. <laughs> somebody messes up. So at one point, somebody like people live in the Simpsons house, right? Oh, jeez. Those oh. are our backup clones for when we die. I'm on like number eight by now. <laughs> somebody, they people live in their house, and then somebody like sits on the couch where. Assets to Orochi. Yeah, no. Sh Wasn't enough to know all our secrets. Yeah. They can't leverage us. They'll just replace us. That's what those are for. Yeah. <laughs> they so, are somebody, so somebody sits on the couch where Homer usually sits, but he messes up the butt groove that Homer has put into it. <laughs> so when they get the house back, he sits back on the couch and he's like, oh, he messed up my groove. And then he's like, he's like wiggling his ass to try and put it back in there. And he's like, ah, Marge, you better boil some Mountain Dew. I'm going to be here all night. <laughs> The Icarus Project is authorized to enact a contingency plan in case of unforeseen circumstances that unforeseen circums no, consequences, sorry, <laughs> never mind, I messed that up. It's been a while. That may put the Invictus crew at risk. A replica of the individual will be made and preserved until a severe violation has occurred. Just These literally just straight up actually clones. clones. These are just clones. <laughs> severe violations of company policy include the following. Unauthorized transmission of operations information to an outside source regardless of content. Verbal threat of intent to control or sabotage mission objectives or company equipment. Homicide. Witnessing a homicide. Witnessing a homicide. Sustaining a <laughs> fatal or crippling injury. Witnessing the retrieval of release of cloned subject. Just straight up clones. Please review proper safety guidelines. Prefer retrieval or release of cloned individual. Discretion is of the utmost importance. Failure to follow protocol guidelines will result in immediate termination. Be careful when okay, you're releasing so I... the clones. You might get fired. <laughs> okay, so, like, the question now is, have they already used the clones? Are you a clone? I'm probably a clone. <laughs> can I let How my clone out and then we can, like, use the clone? Can we let my clone out and then we can, like, Shit. double team the threats? Just like start shoving them between us. The entire Invictus crew. There they are. I, mean, I guess we can. Nondescript. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can get Ina back. I don't want Ina back. <laughs> yeah. She can stay dead. Her. <laughs> Weird psycho. I definitely don't want Lucas back. <laughs> Just like everybody else on the crew, except for. Uh. I forget what his name was. <laughs> Lucas? Declan? Declan, yeah. This is not romantic at all. <laughs> I just like to imagine that this is just how your mom always talked. Yeah, just normal. <laughs> just the whole time. She, when she was going through college, getting her PhD, whatever, <laughs> in her quantum mathematics. This is how she did it. <laughs> When she was reading you bedtime stories as a kid. <laughs> she was making them up on the fly, and it was like that. <laughs> That's hardcore, Mom. Or as you like to be called, Brain Witch. <laughs> You're experimenting with a substance phenomenon entity oftentimes called the filth, what Dr. Volkova prefers to call z -Path. Eat This whole game is just reading. It's just reading. Each sample tightly contained and weakened <laughs> yeah. with a particular regimen of radiation. As per the Icarus Protocols, the goal of this experiment is to see if the effects of this preternatural contaminant are the same on cloned human tissue and cloned hybrid human tissue. Hybrid human tissue. As a normal oh, human... Good. Oh, I guess that's those things we saw. If the effects yeah. are not the same, how do they differ? Today, we applied minute amounts of the filth on cloned cells, using the safety protocols and as observed. Uh, they just started, like, punching each other. 
like in the petri dish we watched it happen <laughs> they like set up a ring there was the a bunch cells, of other cells around them like setting up a little makeshift ring around them they were cheering and <laughs> whenever they started getting shoved towards them they like pushed them back into the fight it was pretty crazy actually <laughs> <laughs> the fill cells kicked the human cells ass <laughs> the effects were largely similar with the molecules of the contaminant attacking the cells however the process moved more slowly than observed before the filth has escaped I have sealed my safety suit <laughs> safety suit and performed all the emergency <laughs> protocols it's just got like a blankie and a little teddy bear in there <laughs> I feel safe in here <laughs> I have injected the radiated serum as outlined in the procedures the side effects are intense but mundane and far better than the alternative how did this happen there was no breach I think the theory that the filth flows, even undulates, along dimensions outside of our perceived three may oh, have good. merit. I have sent for help. I am trying not to panic. I am recording the findings that this mishap affords. Who's I don't, writing not, this? Not enough uh, opportunities to use the word undulate these days. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty good word, undulate. <laughs> the voices continue. I ignore them at first, congratulated myself on my rationalism, but then the voices learn to mimic my voice. And I thought that were me, and I was the voices. No, that doesn't make sense. The radiation must be working. My limbs have begun to do things on their own, but only when I'm not looking. I have to stare at my limbs very carefully or they misbehave. I've made a careful regimen of making sure to not look at any one body part for more than seven seconds. I have to keep watch on them, except for my right arm. Good arm. I'm a scientist. Scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Cut off arm today. Right arm. Good arm. Only uncorrupted part. Pristine. It will be pristine forever. Stored good arm in morgue. Code 9510. I'm scientist. Will lock myself in padded room. Everyone else is safe. Scientist. 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 <laughs> scientist. <laughs> And then he fell asleep. <laughs> uh, uh, who was this person? Maybe it was God dang uh, Big Daddy D. I don't know. Chandra, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> A scientist. I guess you have to go get his arm for some reason. I have to get his arm. There was that hand scanner. At the Yeah, the that's right. There. That's right. So that's how I get out of here. Yeah. Scientist. Scientist. Oh, wait, what was it? Five... Uh, I don't remember. It. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Just walk right past the, cre the creepy clone of myself. Damn, I'm looking good. <laughs> uh, nine five. Nine five one, one zero. zero. Man, none of these can be me because they look built. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do they even get a clone to do that? You just. <laughs> they make it work out in the little thing. <laughs> One, zero. Just give it a weight set. They just dip it in there. <laughs> <laughs> the clone. They just dip the weights in there and that makes the clone stronger. <laughs> <laughs> the clone, yeah. Um, thinking the good arm wasn't, wasn't so good. <laughs> Oh. Ooh, ooh, calm down. Okay, no, that's a different spot. All right. Uh, which one? Which one was it, though? I don't know. I guess we just try all of them. I don't think they mentioned which one it was in. Yeah. Well, it's not this one. Uh, I don't, you don't have to pull, pull it, it out, out, dumbass. It was empty. Idiot. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, hello. You can pull out this one. I'm gonna punch you in the mouth. Or just gonna look at me, I guess. Shh. Only robot dreams now, robot. <laughs> Dream of electric <laughs> sheep. <laughs> There it is. There's a hand. That's disgusting. Finally, something I can what? eat. Why is he pulling them all out? That's a big hand. <laughs> That's a big hand. So just put this in my pocket. My ass pocket. Oh. Is there anything in the last one, though? <laughs> is there a jump scare in here? So forward hand I found in the mortuary. <laughs> so what's nope. down the other hallway, then? Excuse me? Oops. Oh. Mm -hmm. What? Okay. The, what? Uh, hmm. What the f- No, that's fine. Don't worry about it. They just forgot. <laughs> okay. I guess no one was Don't supposed look to look it up. I guess if I just do this, <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't- Don't worry about it. Don't look at it. Hmm. <laughs> Whoops. Well, there's a problem. 
<laughs> hand. Hand. Goop. Goop. Uh, I guess there's nothing here. Yeah, nothing here, yeah. Except for the implications. <laughs> All right. Just slap this on there. Then high five it. Really, <laughs> really big hand. Oh, Whoops. Well, I can't leave yet, so I guess I'll just sit here and stare at you. <laughs> Not really intense when I know that it can't get me in time. <laughs> Unless you're supposed to run away from it. No, it's supposed. I'm just waiting for this. He's sure taking a sweet time. See, yeah, I'll just backwards walk from him. Why is he so slow? Why is he so slow? That was very silly. What do you do about now, nerd? Oh, and he just breaks right through the glass. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, close. There we okay, go. There we go. <laughs> Watch your goddamn fucking language. <laughs> this is a kid's game. We're going farther down each still. Whoops. It's a good thing he stopped doing that. Could have just dropped down yeah. after me. <laughs> or just turned around I mean, and they jumped over the ledge at me. And I'd break his ankles. Strangely, Can't break his ankles. You're tearing me apart, planet! <laughs> no, the moons are doing that. Oh my god. Why would they do this to me, both Phobos and Deimos? <laughs> That's the name of them, right? Yeah. Oop. Whoa. Oops. Aching for the pollinator bat. Uh huh. Very Cthulhu. This is just Cthulhu. <laughs> I can't for. I can't wait till we're done playing this, and then I just look at the store page, and it's like inspired by Lovecraft. I mean, it definitely is. <laughs> They're just gonna flat out say it. They're just gonna make all our mentions of it very silly. <laughs> At the end of it, you're just going to meet actually Cthulhu. That'd be pretty cool. They're gonna call him by name. Cthulhu. That's what. That's our version. Eight-headed monster. <laughs> yeah. we'll call him Arachi here. Locked <laughs> in. What are they keeping here? Hmm. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. There he is. <laughs> I was trying to jump, but I forgot that it zooms. <laughs> hmm. No, no jump button this game. Orochi is planning on building a city here. A failsafe. There is no They're going to be powering it with something called Argent Energy. <laughs> Man, it's been it 423 says... for a long ass time. <laughs> yeah. I don't actually know if it said that much. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Reading at 512? That's oddly specific. I wonder if that means anything. The CEO of Rochi was here. It makes no sense. Uh that which cannot be sound. <laughs> Out of ideas. <laughs> Out of ideas. That's all I got. Look around for some clues. Eden? Maybe. Okay. An emergency failsafe. Not a very good password guy. If I can lower the shield. No. I guessed it after two seconds. <laughs> uh, Project Eclipse. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Uh, status quarantine blast doors active magnetic stasis field online the fragment has become agitated the workers are unable to resist its communications they scratch at the walls run through the complex reduced to a wild animalistic frenzy I was able to close the chamber and enact the highest protocols the highest protocols but I can hear the <laughs> echoes and ring in my ears I see the crew of the Serrano I've never seen them before but I know who they are with all my being and they stare through cracked helmets the filth reaching out towards me I can't stay here Eclipse has been shuttered 
I've activated the proper protocols. I doubt they will be enough. Doors will automatically unlock in the event that subject of Project Eclipse is released. Hmm, Cthulhu, perhaps? Why? Why would they do that? I don't know. At that point, it's like, fuck it, he's out. So, I mean, whatever. I guess. <laughs> you guess. Well just let him do what he's do, do what he does. <laughs> I guess we're in 2063. Yeah. Once it is broken, the rush is upon you. You don't get to be the same person after they get in. These other monitors are for watching my stock trades. <laughs> from Project, Mars. <laughs> from Mars. Project Symmetry. The numbing agent used in Project Eclipse to keep the fragment under control is created from the strange metal powering the machine in the alien ruins. Since the active mechanism for sedation is poorly understood, we have taken the precaution of stockpiling a large amount of the metal on board the Invictus. In the event of an emergency, the Invictus can be launched. A self-guiding rocket has been attached to the payload. It can be triggered with a code phrase once the Invictus safely clears the atmosphere. Communications specialist Delapore has, was tasked with loading the payload and setting off the detonation trigger. Due to the due to the sensitivity of the operation and his location of the <laughs> insensitive really insensitive around these parts, and his location <laughs> of the offsite communication dish, he is considered the opera operative with the most chances of success in case of a catastrophic event. He alone knows the trigger word and will use it at his discretion. I cannot wait so, for the ruins where there's no justification for there to be computers with a bunch of shit that I gotta read. So, so wait, hold on. Yes. The whole Mars base is a spaceship that can blast off. Again? Again? <laughs> <laughs> Father. Father. The Serrano has Father. crashed. Something <laughs> happened. An EMP? We could not analyze it in time. This just happened. <laughs> but yeah, this just he was just here, I guess. The filth has reacted violently and unpredictably, spreading like a cancer across the entire base. The Dreamer fragment has sent the workers into a panic, searching for a way to escape. The security system has been triggered. The entire base has been compromised. I've shut down Project Eclipse. An emergency kill signal has been sent to shut down communications via Angelus. You will leave no trace. Semper Corvus Control. Uh, this is a bunch of stuff. I, I don't... Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Immortal Engine Father... Father... As you know, we owe a great debt to the work of Dr. Cynthia Newhart. This site was chosen based on her later works, notes, and research kept under the strictest clearance. While her exhaustive library of equations and scrawled symbology has been daunting, our analysis still continues to see results, most recently in the acquisition of two recent items. You are already aware of the fragment of a dreamer, which we recovered. Ugh. Research continues into the significance of, his, of this fragment and how it tries to communicate. Using the magnetic uh, energy signatures first recorded by Amundsen's expedition to Antarctica, we were able to triangulate the location within kilometers. Through excavations of Site-9, the team is excited to announce that we have uncovered an actual Gaia engine on Mars. What the fuck is a Gaia engine? What? This, they just know, it's just a thing they found. Hey, look, we found one. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> they just point to it. Here's our screenshot. We took a selfie with it. Further exploration of <laughs> the chamber continues has been halted, and we defer to your judgment. We await your determination. Oh, damn, determination. <laughs> Unauthorized message. Intercepted unauthorized video transmission. This isn't a video at all! Counting muffled talking. This is Trevor Graham, commander of the Serrano. Uh, uh, Serrano 1, an EMP fried art systems, and we are currently hurtling towards Mars at approximately 50 meters per second. Heck protocol. Heck Orochi! It wasn't hours <laughs> after they sent us the coordinates, and I could see it in everyone's eyes. Dr. Baduri drew the short straw when the heat shield controls malfunctioned. We're not equipped for a mission like this. Command knew it. It's a fucking... Uh, sorry. It's a hecking support crew. <laughs> but we follow procedure. After 20 minutes, he stopped responding to comms. We tried to reel him in, but his face, when he turned, his entire mask was covered in blackness. Just a spider webbing of black oil. You ever see that episode of Doctor Who? With the spaceman yeah. that's... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I keep thinking of with this. Just a spider webbing of black oil across the entire thing and leaking out into the video into the void. It cracked straight through his, the hecking helmet. Cons Costanza grabbed his arm, and that heck, it crawled up her suit, wrapped around, squeezing itself inside, <laughs> pounding increases in volume. <laughs> Reading the stage notes. Turns around in surprise. Shows picture. <laughs> that pounding, the airlock, I couldn't let them back in. The infection, just being near it, made my temples seethe. They're all infected, doesn't matter though. The hecking hatch won't close. Anytime now, we're gonna bust apart and rain down in pieces on the Martian desert. Pierce and Vogel are lucky. They're still asleep in their pods. Won't feel a thing. I'm taking it down with me. All of it. This is Serrano 1 about to enter the Martian atmosphere on a secret mission to help stake a claim. They don't care about the lives they lose to do it. 
You hear me, Orochi? The whole world is going to see this thing. The whole hacking world will know. Uh, how did the... the goo get onto the spaceship? Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, spooky brain witch. Did you ever see Black Dynamite, the movie? Uh, no. There's a character in it that... Because the whole movie is like a parody of... Uh, 70s black exploitation films. Yeah, one of the characters in it is reading like the stage notes of his of the script. <laughs> <while he's doing. laughs> that's what that's what that made me think of. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's really funny. Hmm. Push. Can I dial this up to eleven? <laughs> uh. Oh. Uh, okay. Eleven. This this doing something. Sensory deprivation. Numbing agent. Uh. Oh, oh okay. There's oh, you more. have more of them. Okay. What the fuck? I guess you have to make them close the door or open the door. Oh, the here we go. Maybe. Lighting 20, sound 100, numbing 100. Okay, here we go. Communication with a dreamer requires a sensory deprived environment, even for you. Okay, so I need to get that to 20 for lighting. This lighting? What is this? What effect lighting? Oh, uh, your wrist is not looking too great there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it just breaks. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. And then it's just floppy for the rest of the game. <laughs> uh. What? Stand by. Okay. What? Oh, what? <laughs> this is a very weird way to use a dial. <laughs> yeah, it is. What was 20, it for lighting? 20, 20. And 100 for everything 100. else? Uh, what they change? Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are all oh. of these systems so complicated? Use last. Oh, okay. The middle one. So turn those off. <laughs> okay, and then I need these. So they started up. So down, down. Down, down, oh, down, <laughs> up. This is four, it says on there. Uh, this yeah. is we just need to over, I think. No, it has to be that one. No, that's got to be there. I just need to hack around with this one, but no, because did they have one of the switches wrong, maybe? Or maybe they're supposed this to be the other way around. This doesn't the numbers. Oh. This is just... The... Wait. Yes, it does. It does affect the numbers. Maybe they are the wrong way around. Okay. Down. No. God damn. No, stop. Grabby ass <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Up. 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 No. Up. Up. There we go. Yeah. Yes, so. I do. Bink. Whoa, uh, whoa, here we go. All right, here we go. Time to talk to Cthulhu for a second. <laughs> what up? Fist bump, Cthulhu. Up top. <laughs> How's your mom? Mine's kind of a brain witch now. Whoops. What the hell is that thing? It's your mom. Yep. This has just been underneath the base the whole time. There it is. I guess. It's the heart of Mars. <laughs> Can you go closer to it? Can I, like, give it a high five? <laughs> oh, hold on, so I gotta read about this. Okay. 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 Whatever. <laughs> Did you like that Bible verse, Cthulhu? Is that your favorite one? <laughs> Is it I done with you? doing something? What do you have to do? Uh... Am I Watch done you here? back on the console, maybe? Oh, this console. Oh, is this one. Okay, I see. Uh, oh, there are no have? sticky notes to tell me no what notes. to do here. Okay. Um. What do we got? Enter activation code for Project Eclipse Phase Two. By. Oh, it's on five twelve. Yeah, that note. <laughs> you got it. You're smart. Maybe not. No, oh, you got a button. Blink. Yeah. Project Eclipse. Do it! Do something! <laughs> Brilliance. Yes. <laughs> Let it connect. 
Okay. It's just her giant fucking fuck off head. <laughs> My brain! I need that! Give it back! Oh no. Okay, you can have it for a little while, I guess. I'm gonna need that though. Oh, uh oh. And now we're playing. <laughs> What's that? Half Life 2 game? Uh, God. Cry of Fear? I'm playing Cry of Fear all of a sudden? <laughs> Ooh, here we are. And now we're playing Amnesia. Wow, you're rushing through this dialogue. <laughs> yeah. This won't stand. <laughs> Oops. Pick it up! <laughs> well, this book was written by her. Yeah. The... I guess that's a sticker, not a printed barcode, I suppose. Yeah, it's a sticker. Just keeps eating. Spaceship! It's the Serrano! <laughs> this is all in my brain, I never went to Mars. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> It's also like the twenties. <laughs> Twenty? Twenty sixty five? What are you talking about? Twenty sixty five? The rapture's gonna happen before that. What are you talking about, crazy kid? <laughs> New patient Shane Newhart, seven year old male with mother Cynthia, reporting night terrors with complex hallucinations. He claims to remember every detail. Mother encouraged him to describe the terror, and so he did. and so he and so he. <laughs> then it goes into a side game where he's just talking about that. <laughs> Top down, it's like a roguelike. Yeah. It's just Isaac. It's just Binding of Isaac for a while. <laughs> it is made of vines, tendrils, and teeth. He emphasized the teeth. With human hands and face, the vines emerge from every shadow and fill the room, twining upon themselves, eventually crushing him to the bed. All the space that remains is a small dark tunnel through which the creature stares at him across the room. Uh, and he can see it through his eyelids, and its face inches closer minute by minute, but his mom always wakes him up before the teeth. S became extremely distraught and S, and the rest of the session Shane, was spent consoling him for any chance to develop... Why didn't they just say Sh Shane? Why wouldn't they just... Yeah. <laughs> was spent consoling him for any chance to develop a rapport with him. I'll need to see them separately for several sessions. Call C... What the fuck is with you using... What? <laughs> Just Call C to set up a time next time week to discuss home life, school performance, her concerns, etc. We're skipping week two. That was a boring week where nothing happened. <laughs> Shane's GP ruled out physiological causes for night terrors. Must be related to anxiety. Oh my god. Anxiety. <laughs> a lot of tension in the new heart. Home, how, oh, what the? I, home stretch. Why can't I god dang talk? S may be genetically predisposed. Today, he showed me the handheld chess game he plays during recess. Smart kid, but needs help with his confidence. Meanwhile, Cynthia remains a challenge. She answered my questions about S. Why, why wouldn't you just why? use the name? But was reluctant <laughs> to talk about herself. Insisted I wouldn't understand. As I encouraged her to give me a chance, she succumbed to a disassociative episode, which she talked about at length once it passed. She called it seeing through the eyes of elsewhere. She's just crazy. That's my professional opinion. <laughs> We will have to revisit this for next week. I convinced her to see me as a patient. My professional opinion? Y'all's head fucked. When I That's asked it. her about it, she said, I'm a professor of quantum mathematics. And then I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Also, moon ligath. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> How'd that... What? Oops. Uh, Whoops. Ah, the great outdoors. <laughs> Duh. When the... The boardroom and, like, the business thing just kind of flashed up like that. I was just like, it's gonna be the narrator from... <laughs> Stanley, Stanley Parable. Parable. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a time cube! <laughs> How does one access the space between dreams? Oh, there's the moon symbol again. There it is. Somebody left their coffee mugs on this whiteboard. <laughs> their giant novelty coffee mugs. 
Man, she wrote a few books. Yeah, she sure did. What a smart, uh, crazy lady. wasn't very lady. happy about her writing books. Goddamn brain witch. 